buy a new car. Linda wants to buy a new car. She has an old car. Linda wants to buy a new car. She has an old car. Her old car is a white Honda. Linda wants to buy a new Honda. Her old car is a white Honda. Linda wants to buy a new Honda. She wants to buy a new red Honda. She has saved one thousand dollars. She will use one thousand dollars to help buy the new car. She will give one thousand dollars to the Honda dealer. The Honda dealer will give her a contract to sign. The Honda dealer will give her a contract to sign. The contract will require her to pay four hundred dollars a month for seven years. The contract will require her to pay four hundred dollars a month for seven years. Her new red Honda will cost Linda a lot of money, but that's okay, cause Linda makes a lot of money. Her new red Honda will cost Linda a lot of money, but that's okay, cause Linda makes a lot of money. A thin man. Richard is a light eater. He doesn't eat much. Richard is a light eater. He doesn't eat much. Richard is a light eater. He doesn't eat much. Richard is a light eater. He doesn't eat much. Richard is a light eater. He doesn't eat much. He is a heavy eater. He eats a light breakfast, a light lunch, and a light dinner. Richard isn't fat, he's thin. He will always be thin, cause he's a light eater. Richard isn't fat, he's thin. He will always be thin, cause he's a light eater. He eats a bowl of cereal for breakfast. He eats a bowl of cereal with milk. He eats a sandwich for lunch. Sometimes it's a fish sandwich. He eats a sandwich for lunch. Sometimes it's a fish sandwich. He eats a sandwich for lunch. Sometimes it's a fish sandwich. He likes fish. He eats rice and vegetables for dinner. He likes fish. He eats rice and vegetables for dinner. All he eats for dinner is rice and vegetables. He will never get fat. All he eats for dinner is rice and vegetables. He will never get fat. All he eats for dinner is rice and vegetables. He will never get fat. A funny story. Barbara likes funny stories. She likes to hear funny stories. She likes to tell funny stories. She told her mom a funny story. When she finished, she waited for her mom to laugh. Mom, why aren't you laughing? That was a funny story, Barbara said. Oh, I'm sorry. Her mom said, sometimes you think something is funny, but someone else thinks isn't funny. So Barbara's mom didn't laugh at Barbara's story. Barbara told the same story to her younger sister. Her younger sister laughed. Add the story.
So Barbara's mom didn't laugh at Barbara's story. Barbara told the same story to her younger sister. Her younger sister laughed at the story. Bug in a bottle. Charles found a glass bottle. He found a glass bottle in his backyard. It was a pretty glass bottle. It was dark green. He looked inside the dark green bottle. He couldn't see anything. He shook the bottle. Something came out of the bottle. It landed on the ground. It was a bug. Charles picked up the bug. He looked at it. The bug looked at Charles. Charles put the bottle back on the ground. He put the bug on the ground next to the bottle. The bug crawled back into the bottle. Clean hands. Elizabeth washes her hands every day. She likes to wash her hands. She washes her hands with soup and water. She uses soup and water to wash her hands. She uses warm water and soup. She washes her hands for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, she stops washing her hands. She turns off the water. She dries her hands on a clean towel. Every few hours she turns on the water and washes her hands. Elizabeth has very clean hands. She doesn't have many germs on her hands. Germs cannot live on her clean hands. Who's it? Joseph never opens the front door. When someone knocks on the front door, Joseph says, Who's it? But he doesn't open the door. His parents told him to keep the door closed. His parents want him to be safe. He will be safe if he doesn't open the door. Yesterday, someone knocked on the front door. Who's it? Joseph asked. It's the mailman. The person said, he cannot open the door. Joseph said, okay, I will come back tomorrow. The mailman said, goodbye, Joseph said. Joseph is a good boy. He listens to his parents. He doesn't open the front door for any person. He listens to his parents. He doesn't open the door for any person. Trash day. Jennifer pulled the trash can out to the street. She pulled the trash can out to the street on Monday morning. Monday was trash day. The trash truck came to her house. The truck had a middle arm. The middle arm picked up the trash can. It raised the trash can into the sky. It emptied the trash can into the truck. Then the arm put the can back on the street. On Monday afternoon, Jennifer walked out of the street. On Monday afternoon, Jennifer walked out of the street. The trash can was empty. She pulled the trash can back to into her yard. Next Monday, she would put it out to the street again.